Hello friends, I am Vikram from Ezion Technologies. Welcome to my project work video series based on Spring Framework. In my previous video session, I discussed about the contact application requirement and uh, in the next video, we discussed about the flow and how it is important for any software project. And in the current video session, I am going to talk about the entities database and how it is related with the front end. So let's begin. The very first thing is what is entity? So entity is a person, place or anything uh, for which we are storing the data. And uh, the data is sometimes related with the other entities. So uh, the project uh, operations are mostly designed around the entities and the operations are also related with the other operation and let's take one small example here for example we are going to register a user login uh, login a user update user activate or block a user right and look at the another example here add contact edit contact delete contact list contact search contacts so in this case register is a operation and user is an entity so the uh, in the second case look at this add is a operation and contact is an entity so we are going to add contact edit contact delete contacts so these are the different operations register login update active block add edit delete and these are the operations designed for user and contacts so in my current example we have two entities one is user and another is contact now let's have a look at the uh, detail for the user entity so we have user entity and entities are described by the attributes so these are some adjective things we can use to describe the adject uh, to describe the entity so for user entity we will manage the name phone number email address address login status role login name and password similarly we have contact entity where uh, we'll manage the contact in different way so name will be there phone number will be there for contact email will be there address and remark so these are the attributes and there are relation uh, between the entities so in my case one user can have multiple contacts so we have one to many relation between user and contact because once a user is registered he can manage multiple contacts in his phone book right so i have wrote here one user can have multiple contacts now come to the important point here so now how we can relate the entity uh, from the uh, how we can relate the entity with database and the front-end technologies so this is very 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 important table I'm going to talk here so entities we have learned in software engineering it is part of the software modeling uh, and uh, designing phase so we have got here two entities user entity and contact entity when it comes to the database when it comes to the database or backend the entities will be converted into the table so a user table will manage here and contact table will manage here similarly when you come to the front end to uh, do the coding in your project the entities will be mapped to your domain classes so we'll have one java class here user.java and contact.java so if you remember the relation which is ORM relation object relational mapping relation and uh, in that relation the database table will be mapped to a Java class and uh, the uh, columns in the table will be mapped to the Java properties similarly the records in a database table will be mapped to the objects for the domain class so the class which is mapping your uh, database table is a domain class so it is derived from the entity also so we have two tables here and we have got here two Java classes so whatever the columns you have in user table uh, will be similar properties you will have in Java class right so now when you have got a domain classes 
now you want to perform operation on the domain classes so what are the operations we perform so we do uh, four operations crud insert update delete select so these uh, four operations will implement in a class called dao and uh, we have two entities here user and contact and that's why we have user dao and contact dao so user dao class will contain the insert update delete select operation for the user entity and the contact dao class will contain the insert update delete operations for the contact entity similarly uh, the rule of the dao is uh, for the single table only so whatever the operations you implement in dao will be only uh, developed for a single table but when it comes to services you can write some additional logic uh, related to that entity or you can do some joining you can combine multiple tables and prepare the reports or you can send some email you can communicate to some uh, different services in the project so all that customized logic you can write inside the services so we have two entities user and contact and that's why we have user service and contact service and when you come to the actual MVC layer to uh, develop your controllers will have user controller and contact controller so these are the controllers will uh, receive the incoming request from the browser so uh, look at the great relationship and the great importance of the entity in the development so entities will be used for the table entities will be used to identify the domain classes entities will be used to prepare DAOs services and controllers in the project and when you look at this part of the uh, project uh, this is the area where uh, DAO and services are there so these two things are jointly called business logic so this is when you consider the this part as hundred percent DAO play around 60% role in the project and 40% you can customize the services so this is very important uh, area of the project which is your business logic so sometime we refer this layer combination of the DAO and services as a application layer application layer is a business logic right now let's talk about the database so we have two tables here look at the arrangement here the name of the table columns their type size of the column constraints and the some additional detail about the column so when it comes to the user table we manage here user id which will be integer 11 size and it is a primary key and the value for the primary key will be automatically generated by the database that's why it is auto increment and now its second column name and name will be where care and size will be 50 phone number will be there email will be there address login name password and this is login name is very important it is unique key because uh, we cannot repeat the login name one user once user is registered it's a unique ID will be created and uh, that will not be uh, assigned to different user so it's a unique key and uh, password will be one more thing you can add here it's a unique key and it's a not null just a moment it's a not null and password will be a mandatory here so role will be there I am going to use here a simple relation and uh, the size will be 1 and I am assuming that 1 value 1 will be administrative admi will be for the administrator role and 2 for the general user and by default when user is created default value will be 2 means when user is registered it will be treated as a general user so 1 will be admin 2 will be user and default user will be general user who is going to register from a application now uh, the next column is login status it's an integer and size will be one it's a mandatory column and one value one will represent enabled account and two will represent disabled account so we can activate or deactivate the account using these status and default value will be one means when any user is registered in the system will be treated as a active user enabled user right now let's have a look at the another table this is contact table 
contact ID will be a primary key here and uh, this will be generated by the database itself and user ID will be there what is the role of the user ID in contact table it's a foreign key so this will relate data from the parent table so user ID will be foreign key here and look at the relation here update no action when you update any parent ID it will not reflect to the child ID so I am writing here update no action means when you update the parent it will not reflect the child and delete cascade when you delete the parent record the child will be automatically deleted so when any record from the user table is deleted all the associated childs will be deleted right and the other columns will be similar to the previous one so name phone email address and remark so these are the things we are going to manage here now it's always important to prepare some sample data because uh, probably uh, sometime it is difficult to understand the uh, database structure uh, in this way in this way because especially for the beginner it is not so easy to understand the relations like this but it is always great idea to prepare the sample data and this sample data will be used as a great example and uh, the relationship you can quickly understand here now look at this I'm going to create one user let's assume that one user is registered from your registration form and the user ID is generated which is 101 and one user is Vikram and the second user is 102 Amit now let's assume that user is logged in in your website and he is going to manage his personal contact so when a contact is added by user let's assume Amit has logged in so when Amit has logged in he can add his contact so look at this this red box is representing Amit so look at the child records Raj and this Raj is added by Amit because it is 102 and Vivek is added by again Amit and Pankaj is added by Amit so Raj Vivek and Pankaj these three contacts belongs to Amit right so one record in parent is related to three records in child one two three similarly when you look at this Vikram it is 101 so this 101 is uh, referred here look at this for Nitin and Varun so Nitin and Varun these two contacts belongs to the user 101 Even 101 means Vikram so this is how you will see so one parent record Vikram has two con two contacts Nitin and Varun and uh, the record Amit the user Amit has three contacts in the child table look at this so this is Raj Vivek and Pankaj so this is enough for this video and uh, don't miss my next video if you like my work comment uh, if you like my work you can comment you can ask your queries in comment if you want to get some update from my channel and uh, you you can uh, you must subscribe my channel so thank you for now and see you in next video thank you very much